Hey guys! Welcome to Let's Play RC. So on the last video, we installed the Hobbywing Max 6 8 cell waterproof ESC on the Traxxas X Max, and today we're going to show you how to calibrate that ESC. Coming, Coming up! up. I'm Kelvin. And on this channel do we do all things RC, such as tips, tricks, reviews. We also do unboxings, repairs, upgrades, some awesome run videos, and so much more. So if you're new around here, consider subscribing. So me and Dylan are a father-son team. We love the hobby. We love hanging out and doing the hobby together. Um, now in the last video, Dylan wasn't around. He was getting a little uh, overwhelmed with everything he had going on in hockey school, uh, band, you know, things like that, so, but, hockey season's over now. Yeah, so, so I'll don't, be around more. He's going to be around, he's going to try not to get overwhelmed and be in uh, all the videos, if not most of them again. Yeah. Um, so anyways, like we said, the last time we uh, installed that Hobby Wing ESC, so today we're just going to show you how to, um, how to calibrate that ESC. So let's just get right at it. So guys, as you can see, uh, I've pretty much left it exactly the way I left off the last video, um, so everything's apart. So, the ESC should be plugged into channel 3, right? So channel to, 3. So to, on your receiver. So to um, calibrate this ESC, you want to get your remote or your transmitter, whatever you want to call it, turn it on. Then on the ESC button, there's a set button and a power button. Hold the set button while turning on the ESC. Keep the set button held until it starts doing that pulsing blinking. Once that's done, oh, something I should mention too, guys, on your transmitter, make sure that your trim and your multifunction button are at zero. Then, while not doing anything, click the set button, it'll beep. Then full throttle forward on your transmitter, set button, it'll beep twice. Full throttle reverse, set button, it'll beep three times. Let go, now it's finding where it's supposed to be. So after doing all that, steering works, throttle works. It's a little loud, eh? Yeah, like a lot loud. And that's it guys, so now we're just going to put everything back together. I guess one thing I should have mentioned is make sure you uh, attach some full batteries. Yeah. Before you try to calibrate. We didn't mention how to feed this through, but basically you feed it back through the same way you took the old one out, right? Which I think I may have explained in the last video. Um, and then make sure you find a nice groove here to put your wires in. And then... What I always like to do is on the cover here, we use a little marine grease, which actually we have another video. We'll put a card in the corner there. You can check it out if you want. Um, but just a little layer. You don't want it too thick. Um, you can also use a silicone base grease. We find marine grease does the exact same thing and is probably a little bit more um, or is a little bit better for our environment up here in Canada. So that's why we use it. So I'm going to put the... Yeah. Snow, rain, Warmness, lots of stuff, mud, all that. Especially snow. Lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. And lots of snow. And we kind of get a lot of snow. <laughs> if you haven't realized, half of our videos are just snow. So we'll get the waterproof wire clamp 
in place here. There we go. And then we'll neatly tuck all these wires in here. And we do the same thing with this, even though your receiver box has this rubber gasket, which is very important as part of the waterproofing. Um, we always put a tiny bit of marine grease on the lip here too, and you want very, very little. That will just help seal off any uh, cracks, uh, sand, dirt, things like that. It'll just help seal off any little spots that might have leaks. Again, very important um, if you're going to run your truck in any kind of moisture. And like we said, here in Canada, you know, six months of the year it snows and then spring it rains. And so we always have mud and, and water. And yeah. And summer, half of the time it rains. Yeah. So, there's no getting away from it here. Or, or there's dirt in summer. And then in winter there's snow. In fall there's leaves and mud. There's always some kind of bad weather. Summer is a bad one. It's just like, so I, I mean, like, some kind of like dirt or something. Like that. All right, guys, so that's how to calibrate the uh, Max 6 ESC from Hobby Wing. Um, hopefully, this was helpful. As you can see in the photo, this is how I cleaned up my uh, uh, electronics wiring and whatnot. Obviously, you can do that however you like. Uh, question for you guys. Have you used the Hobby Wing Max 6 in any rig this size? Do you like it? And also, is there any other ESCs that would power a rig this size? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell while you're at it. That way you won't miss out on another video. Until next time, guys, get, get out and play. play. See you later. later.